Let me ask you, if I were to tell you that the single most liberal nation in Europe is about to be governed by a Trump-like party made up of a nationalist right coalition, would you believe me? Well, reality is stranger than fiction, my friends, because that's exactly what appears to be happening in the nation of Sweden. We're going to take a look at the political earthquake that's taking shape in this country. We're going to be looking at precisely why their leftist prime minister was the first to be ousted in a no-confidence vote and why it looks increasingly likely that the most liberal nation in Europe is about to form a nationalist right government like never before. You're not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Great to be with you, as always. We are your daily fake news antidote. As each and every day, we provide patriotic analysis to help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So, if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe. But before we begin, you know, you're going to absolutely love this wonderful device called the light bug. The light bug is a it's a portable solar powered ultra bright floodlight that makes blackouts a thing of the past. It's solar powered, so it never needs batteries, and it's perfect to light up your fishing, hiking, or camping trips because it's so lightweight and portable. And if you click on that link below today, you're gonna get yours at 20% off. So don't wait. Make sure to click on that link below or head on over to lightbug.com and get your emergency backup light today. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. This headline from Reuters says it all. After years on the fringe, Sweden Democrats take center stage. Now, if you're not familiar with the Sweden Democrats, they are in effect the Patriot Party of Sweden. So in other words, the Sweden Democrats are good Democrats, which of course is an oxymoron here in the United States, but not in Sweden. They are a solid, awesome, amazing patriot party that loves Trump. They love seeing patriot parents rising up all across our nation, right, to fight back against their cultural Marxist school boards, precisely because Sweden is infested with cultural Marxists at all levels of society as well. Well, be encouraged because Europe's most liberal nation looks like they're about to turn to their version of the patriot party. Now, let me give you a bit of a backstory to what's going on here, okay? Back in September of 2018, Sweden held a parliamentary election, national election, where they basically voted out the center-left Social Democrats. So, of course, those Social Left Democrats, they're the bad Democrats, okay? So Sweden Democrats, good. Social Democrats, bad. So you got this, these parliamentary elections. It was a horrible defeat for the leftist Social Democrats. They were headed by the then Prime Minister, Stefan Löfven. In fact, the Social Democrats, the, the leftist bad Democrats, they actually suffered their worst defeat in nearly 100 years back in 2018. It was a major repudiation of Sweden's leftist politics. The problem, however, was that the election returned what's called a hung parliament, where no one party has large enough majority to rule or form a government. And part of the reason why that happened is that many of the different, there's many, many uh, parties in Sweden's elections, but many of the different parties saw a portion of their constituency defect and join their new Patriot Party, which is the Sweden Democrats. So the Sweden Democrats had an amazing election, scoring 18% of the vote, which was twice the amount they got just a few years prior. So they've been a surging party over the last few years. They're a very new party. Uh, and they're surging in accordance with the worldwide conservative trends that we've been in, analyzing now on this channel like for the last four years. So the Sweden Democrats came in, uh, sorry, Sweden Democrats came in third place. The moderate party, they're a center-right party. They came in second place and they could have formed a coalition with the Sweden Democrats and created a successful center-right government. But no, that's not what happened. You're going to love this, okay? This is how the Sweden swamp works. You ready for this? Sweden's got their swamp too. All of the parties representing the center-right, particularly the moderate party and the Christian Democrats, they're center-right, they all refused to even consider working with the Sweden Democrats in a governing coalition. And every article you read the rationale is the same. It's the same old tired, Sweden Democrats are a bunch of neo-Nazis. They're right-wing extremists. They're xenophobes, blah, blah, blah. And so incredible. And again, I mean, really incredibly. You ready for this? These swampy politicians 
actually got together, you ready? And decided to put back the old government into power. The old government that just been ousted out of power in the September election back in 2018. They put the very center-left government that the voters voted out of office back into office. That's how the Sweden swamp works. And to add insult to injury, the Swedish parliament even agreed to vote in the old prime minister, Stefan Löfven, who had just been ousted by that very same parliament weeks before. I mean, it was utterly, utterly absurd. Now, if you are interested, we did a video back then. I was so young, back in 2018 on the Sweden elections, where we predicted that this new government, or better, this new old government, was so tenuous, so tenuous, we predicted that it would inevitably crack up in a matter of just a couple of years. And, of course, that's precisely what happened. The Swedish government has not been able to govern without the help of, well, what do you know? The Patriot Sweden Democrats. And the Patriot Sweden Democrats have purposely stalled all legislation in order for them to recognize their legitimate right to govern. So just a couple of days back, the Swedish parliament held a no confidence vote on their prime minister and it is now official. Stefan Löfven became the very first Swedish prime minister ever to lose a no confidence vote. It was absolutely stunning. In fact, to add insult to injury, the electronic vote in the parliament took less than 20 seconds to complete. <laughs> How do you like them apples? They booted them out in literally less than 20 seconds. So what this means is that the Swedish parliament will either have to hold new elections or they're going to have to try to form a new coalition. And that, my friends, is where the Sweden Democrats, Sweden's Patriot Party, comes in. Now, a few months back, the leader of the center-right Christian Democrats announced that her party is indeed ready to pursue talks to begin working in a coalition with Sweden Democrats. What's so interesting is that this leader of the Christian Democrats has been moving very noticeably to the right of late when it comes to immigration. Okay, so there have been a number of articles reporting on her rhetoric, hammering Sweden's open borders immigration policy, and a number of analysts have been saying that she was sounding more and more like Yimi Alkesson. Yimi Alkesson is the leader of the Nationalist Populist Sweden Democrats, 42 years old. He's an amazing guy. So that announcement that she's open to negotiations with the Sweden Democrats just corroborated that shift in her political posturing. Well, it's not just the Christian Democrats anymore. The leader of the other center-right party called the Moderates, he's also openly, openly stating that he's ready to form a coalition government with the Sweden Democrats. This is really stunning stuff. The moderates for the last several years have always shunned the Sweden Democrats in a way that never Trumpers and the neocon GOP shun the deplorables, okay? But all of that's changed, particularly since the immigration crisis that swept across Europe beginning back in 2015. Now the border security policies that the Sweden Democrats were advocating back then, it's gone mainstream. And so the center-right parties, the moderates and the Christian Democrats, they've announced they are ready to form a coalition with Sweden's version of the Patriot Party. So either they can do that by forming a new governing coalition now, or they can hold fresh elections. And all the polls show that the nationalist right coalition would win a solid majority. Either way, it looks increasingly likely that Sweden, the single most liberal nation in all of Europe, is going to have, just weeks from now, a nationalist right government. Now, before you go, you will definitely want to check out my latest video I just uploaded on how woke cities across our nation are absolutely imploding. We're seeing a mass exodus of left UGs who are taking refuge in red states. And guess what? They're voting Republican. We got the data. You're going to love it. So make sure to click on the link and I'll see you over there. God bless.